we own nothing. It all belongs to God. This belief is a major reason that my gran grandma and grandpa Hazlett have been helping others for many years. They have been a great example of service for many people. Grandma and grandpa's belief applies not only to their possessions, but also to their time. Grandma and grandpa have loaned many of their possessions to others who were in need, many of whom were strangers. For example, Grandma loaned their van to a man who needed to get to town to buy gas. Grandma had never met him before, but she had a good feeling about helping him. He brought the van back and thanked Grandma for her help. Another time, a man they knew whose house had burned down needed a place to live. They loaned their fifth-wheel camper to him to live in. He fixed it up, and he has lived in it for over a year. Grandma and Grandpa have had many people stay with them that needed a place to live. They were foster parents for many years and had all ages of kids live with them. Grandma and Grandpa have had various missionaries from our church stay with them for about six years. Grandma and Grandpa had a family stay with them for several months while the family was looking for a house. When I was a toddler, a woman who had recently been released from prison lived with Grandma and Grandpa for several months. She was a stranger who was in the area for a job, but the job did not work out. They let her live with them for a while, but she took advantage of their kindness, and they made her leave. Not everyone they have helped have returned their kindness, but Grandma says that they believe in giving people second chances. Of all the service that they have done, being Santa and Mrs. Claus is likely one of their most enjoyable. They have dressed up for various school and community groups, Christmas parades, and charity fundraisers for over a decade. One memorable event involved an early Christmas celebration for a three-year-old boy dying of cancer. Grandma and Grandpa are two of the hardest working people I know. Despite their age, they are almost always helping others. They mow yards in the summer and shovel snow in the winter. Once, they built a fence for a family whose dog kept getting loose. They have helped countless people move into or out of Burlington. They have even hauled trailers for people moving out of state. Grandma and Grandpa have helped clean up or renovate people's homes when moving, and even after floods. Grandma and Grandpa's largest project in recent years has been cleaning and repairing a house that was damaged by a flood. The homeowner has MS and is in a wheelchair. They helped to remove all the furniture, much of which was ruined, and remove the sheetrock from most, must remove the sheetrock from most of the interior walls. They installed new insulation in the walls and installed new sheetrock. Grandpa installed new tile in several rooms and built a custom sliding wooden door for the bathroom. The homeowner said that if it wasn't for Grandma and Grandpa, he would have had to move to a nursing home. These are just a few examples of the service that Grandma and Grandpa have done over the years. They are a great example to me and others, and I have learned much about helping others from them.